Billy the Kid, the notorious gunslinger of the Wild West, continues to captivate our imaginations with his intriguing life and legendary exploits. As one of the most infamous figures in American history, he has left an indelible mark on the frontier era. In this video, we unveil 10 fascinating facts that delve into the enigmatic world of Billy the Kid. From his mysterious origins to his daring escapades, join us on our journey to uncover the truth surrounding this iconic character. Get ready to be enthralled by the remarkable story of Billy the Kid. He's been the subject of more than 30 movies. During his lifetime, Kidd enjoyed a considerable degree of popularity, but it continued to increase after his death. His legend grew thanks to pompous novels, TV shows, and Hollywood movies. The portrayal of the Kid's story began with the release of the silent film, Billy the Kid in 1911, which marked the beginning of a cinematic trend that brought the story of the Kid to the screen 30 times larger. Famous actors including Roy Rogers, Paul Newman, Val Kilmer, and Emilio Estevez have all taken on the role of Kid, contributing to the enduring appeal of Billy the Kid legend. Some people believe that the Kid was not killed in 1881. Over time, Pat Garrett gained legendary status in the Old West for shooting Billy the Kid. As the years passed, however, rumors began to circulate, suggesting that the sheriff may have shot the wrong person or plotted to orchestrate the outlaw's death. In the late 1940s, an elderly Texan named Brushy Bill Roberts emerged, claiming to be Billy the Kid. However, credible evidence emerged when family records revealed Roberts' birth date to be 1879, casting doubt on his claims. Subsequent investigations suggested an alternative hypothesis, suggesting that Kidd may have lived on under the alias John Miller. In 2005, the remains of a man believed to be Miller were exhumed with the intention of comparing his DNA with that of the Kidd. However, the analytical plan never materialized. Despite the controversy surrounding Kidd's death, Historical records demonstrate that many individuals identified his body the day after his shooting. As a result, the popular consensus among most historians favors the conclusion that Sheriff Garrett actually shot the right person. Billy the Kid was only 21 years old at the time of his death. What were Billy the Kid's last words? After escaping the death penalty, Kidd sought refuge in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Nearly three months after his escape, Garrett, learning of the rumors that Bonnie was near Fort Sumner, left Lincoln with two lieutenants. On the night of July 14, 1881, Garrett went to the mansion of rancher Peter Maxwell, a friend of Bonnie, with the intention of asking him about the whereabouts of the Kid. Coincidentally, when Kidd happened to be nearby buying things for a late dinner, he also approached Maxwell's house. Unaware of each other's presence, Kidd entered Maxwell's dimly lit room where he caught a glimpse of a figure. Responding quickly, Kidd pulled out his revolver and stepped back, asking, Quien es, quien es, in Spanish, meaning, who is that, who is that? Recognizing Kidd's voice, Sheriff Garrett quickly pulled out his gun and fired two bullets at Kidd. The first bullet entered Bonnie's chest just above his heart, while the second missed. It is not clear from Garrett's account whether Bonnie was killed instantly or took a while to die. He made a famous escape. In late 1880, Sheriff Pat Garrett successfully pursued Kidd to a log cabin in Stinking Springs, New Mexico, forcing the outlaw to surrender. Convicted of the murder of Sheriff William Brady, he was incarcerated in the Lincoln Courthouse. Later, Judge Warren Bristol sentenced him to be hanged. On April 28, 1881, however, he orchestrated a greatly audacious escape, surpassing any of his previous criminal exploits. During a trip to the restroom, Kidd freed himself from handcuffs, attacked a guard by surprise, and shot him dead with his own pistol. He then armed himself with a double-barreled shotgun and eliminated a second guard crossing the street. 
After taking control of the court, Kidd deftly cut off his shackles with an axe. He quickly obtained a horse and rode out of town. He sang as he left Lincoln. News of this blatant escape quickly spread, being published in newspapers across the country, immediately putting Kidd on the top of the most wanted list in the West. The Kid is involved in at least 10 murders. The Kid was known for his easygoing personality, but he wasn't afraid to pull out a pistol when provoked. During a four-year period from 1877 to 1881, the outlaw, the baby-faced assassin, was involved in the shooting death of about 10 men, at least four of whom were killed by him alone. A notable legendary gunfight took place in January 1880 in a saloon in New Mexico. As the story goes, a drunkard named Joe Grant is threatening the saloon's patrons and threatening to kill someone before nightfall. As tensions escalated and the threat of violence loomed, Kidd approached Grant nonchalantly, seizing the opportunity to comment, That's a mighty nice looking six shooter you got. In one swift movement, he deftly removed Grant's gun from its holster, rotated its cylinder so that his next shot was an empty chamber, and returned it to its owner. Then Grant suddenly pointed a pistol at Bonnie's face and pulled the trigger. When it fails to shoot, in a quick reaction, Kidd drew his own weapon and fired a fatal shot, ending Grant's life. Kidd never robbed trains or banks. Contrary to famous Old West outlaws like Jesse James, Cole Younger, or Butch Cassidy, Billy the Kid doesn't make a living as a robber. Although the young gunman occasionally stole horses, he never robbed banks, trains, or carriages. In addition to his engaging in gunfights as a member of the Regulators, his primary criminal activity centered around cattle rustling across the vast plains of New Mexico. The Kid Fought in the Battle of Lincoln Billy the Kid first rose to fame as a gunman in 1878 when he was involved in a bloody border war in Lincoln County, New Mexico. The dispute revolved around a business rivalry between John Tunstall, an English rancher, and two Irish tycoons named James Dolan and Lawrence Murphy. Dolan and Murphy, known as The House, had long maintained a monopoly on the dry goods and livestock trade in Lincoln County. When they tried to threaten Tunstall's upstart operation, he recruited Kidd and several other gunmen to protect his fortune. Tensions finally flared up in February 1878 when Tunstall was murdered by a team of organized by Sheriff William Brady, a supporter of the house. After Tunstall's death, Kidd and several other gunmen organized themselves into a group called the Regulators and vowed revenge. In the conflict that followed, known as the Lincoln County War, the Regulators assassinated Sheriff Brady and engaged in months-long skirmishes with the House's forces. The climax occurred in July 1878 when a fierce and five-day gun battle broke out in the town of Lincoln. After this tense confrontation, the Regulators disbanded and the two opposing factions reluctantly reached a tenuous peace agreement. While Kidd emerged from the war as one of the best gunslingers in the West, he remains a fugitive wanted for the murder of Sheriff Brady. Consequently, he spent the rest of his life evading law enforcement. Kidd was first arrested for stealing food. He was first arrested for stealing food at the age of 16 in 1875. Ten days later, Henry McCarty assists a local street criminal nicknamed Sombrero Jack in stealing clothes from a Chinese laundromat. Henry hid the booty in his inn, but was arrested after the landlord turned him over to the sheriff. Although the offense was punishable only lightly, the nimble young man chose to escape by going through the chimney. He fled the New Mexico Territory to the neighboring Arizona Territory, making himself an outlaw and federal fugitive. He honed his skills with a Winchester rifle and a Colt revolver. In August 1877, he killed his first man during a dispute in a saloon in Arizona. After this event, he began to call himself William H. Bonney and became known 
as Billy the Kid. He was orphaned when he was a teenager. Limited information exists regarding the early life of Billy the Kid, although it is probable that he was born as Henry McCarty in the impoverished Irish neighborhoods of New York City during the latter part of 1859. Raised by a single mother, he relocated to Wichita, Kansas as a young boy before eventually heading west to New Mexico in the early 1870s. Henry rapidly adjusted to the demanding lifestyle of the region and became proficient in the Spanish language. Sadly, his frail mother succumbed to tuberculosis in 1874, leaving him an orphan at a tender age of 15. With an absent stepfather, Henry lived in foster homes and boarding houses for the next year. Not long after, he associates with an unreliable group and begins to engage in petty crime activities and theft. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.